Assalamu alaikum guys. In this video, we'll talk about policies in Laravel. Policies are a classes to check if the current user is authorized to make a specific action on a particular model or not. So let's start. The first thing here, I created this endpoint to view the edit page to edit a, a post right here in my controller. And I'm returning the string. You can edit this post. And here is the result, right? Also, I am the guest, not authenticated and the first thing to create a new policy is using command here php artisan make policy and this policy will be related to a model called post it will be related to our post model and now i forget the name so i can use it here now post policy and here it's generated under app policies post policy let's go and see here our app and our policy and as you can see here post policy right so after that after generating a policy we must register it so we can go here to our auth service provider under providers here and inside policies array we will say the post model here class will use post policy right here and we will see how later and now if you go here to our post policy as you can see it has some methods because we related it to a model while using this hyphen hyphen model so let's remove it again and let's generate it without hyphen hyphen model and i will say here post policy back and see again here our post policy and as you can see it contains only construct if we don't provide the hyphen hyphen model class so i will remove it and i will provide the hyphen hyphen model option and here post policy again and now it works correctly back to post policy and as you can see here it contains the necessary methods or basic methods as you can see view any view create update delete force delete restore and this method also you can create your own method right any method you want for any action custom method right and also the first parameter always must be represent the user so here as you can see it represents the user and even if we see here the comments determine whether the user can permanently delete the model here and always the first parameter here is a user so which means the current authenticated user so we generated it after that we register it here inside our service provider and now let's use it so inside post policy under update method it returns response or boolean so now i will say here return if the current user id equal equal to the post user id and here by the way in my database i have a post which is related to user id number two right here is my users super admin editor and admin and the post related to this user and now let's use this policy here inside our post controller and we can say this authorized method and if you notice here it contains two parameters the first one here is the ability so i will split my screen so here the ability here the first parameter represents the method name which is update we want to use or any method name as a string and second the parameter is arguments right the arguments of this method without user method so now we have post model right so now we will provide a post because the second parameter here is post and also you can provide any parameter here integer maybe in id as an example then we can pass it as array here of parameters one for example right so now we check if the current user authorized to update this post by using this logic current user id must equal to post user id or in other ways he must be the owner of this post so let's back and see in our model here or our page refresh 
now it returns 403 because I am not authenticated yet right if you want to skip this part you can use here null operator but if we refresh it will throw an error 500 you may need to make more control on that or using here this null safe operator refresh and again it returns unauthorized so I will log in here as the first user not the owner of the post right now my user id is one I authenticated using this user id not this one the owner of the post and if I back and refresh again I received the same 403 unauthorized right because it returns false back to our policies and if I return true it will work if I return false it will not work right and now I am not the owner of the post but if you notice here also I am the super admin back to users and the super admin can do anything in the application so we can check again here or current user role is super admin right now back and refresh again it works we can repeat this action for whole methods but instead of that we can use a method in the class here called before so we can define our method before and it takes two parameter as we said the current user and something called ability which represents all of these function names view any view and so on and we can say here if the current authenticated user is super admin here user role equal equal to super admin return it through without accessing to these methods right so back and refresh again and because here 403 return true now let's check again and it works correctly without accessing the update method right so now this method will work for other user rather than super admin now back again to our controller by the way instead of that you can use can method for current authenticated user so we can say us user can do something so here can he update again post let's remove the extra parameter here from update method because I'm not using it let's back and refresh and it works correctly we can also check it from middleware in the router so back to our web and I will say here can right and the same parameters this time if you notice here I am using post as binding root so instead of that we can say here post back and refresh again it works again also we can use middleware and we can say here as one parameter can and update post back and refresh and the same result as mentioned here in the documentation right also if you notice here in the policy some methods has only one parameter which mean this authorize is generally for the model completely let me explain you here so imagine now we use return is this user role equal equal to admin for example right and now let's use this create so instead of that here we will use here authorize create and which means it's authorized for post model generally model sorry class and let's dis disable it here back and refresh again and it works correctly here I'm using a before method what if I disable that here again I must receive 403 now right and let's change my role admin and now refresh the page and also it works correctly last but not least here we can use it also inside our plate so let's say for example disable it and even keep it we can say return view index and refresh 
back to our index split we can use these directives here at can and update the post and I will provide also the post here using post post and can also we can use something called else can create here post class so we must provide here the full namespace so I will back and say post using here app models you can create and here you can update back and refresh and as you can see he can't update but he can create also there is another directive called cannot so if, I, if he cannot update so display you cannot update if he cannot create else cannot also you can't create now we must see this message back and refresh you can't update right also the same thing here inside the can method using os user cannot update post and it will return true because the current user can't update the current post because he is not the owner right as mentioned here inside our update method back and refresh and again it works correctly here is some tips about policies in laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos